All right, I'm gonna put me a little hitch on my Suzuki Forenza. Have some scrap metal and an old hitch. So I'm gonna take some angle iron and uh, I'm gonna drill some holes. And this will go on the frame rail. This is gonna get welded to the bracket and then just be bolted to the frame rail. <clears throat> These are gonna go in the frame rail, so. And like this is the frame rail. There's a big hole there. This will slide in there like this. Drop it in, and then we can bolt it. So we need to figure out a way so it doesn't spin in the frame rail. So what we're going to do is weld a bolt on top of it. That way, when you put it in there, this will spin and hit the frame, and uh, basically keep it from spinning. Alright, let's go weld a bunch of these up on the head like that. Then we gotta drill some holes and get this hitch on. That's what I'm talking about. So you can see the head of the bolt is welded on there. Drop my bolt in there. Now when I go to tighten it, this will go up against the frame. And then zoop. We're going to put one here, one here. We're not going to be hauling a bunch of stuff. It's just for light, light duty stuff. But this is the frame. I think it's only rated at 3,000 or something like that. I ain't going to haul no cars with it. Just a little stuff. All right. I had to do a little notching for the clearance for the muffler. That'd be all right. It'd be strong enough. I'm going to weld all this up. Beep. Getting there. Alright guys, you're seeing my vision. Got my brackets that I made all welded. And she's hot. And that one's notched, like I said, for the muffler. The welds ain't the prettiest. But she'll hold. We'll get her all cleaned up. The extra holes I went ahead and welded in, like over here. A little extra strength. A little extra strength don't hurt nothing. So, we're at 35 and 1 8 between frame rail, or between the bracket here and here. That puts me center. Put me a little piece of tape. And that's my center point. Um, so I got this marked with a sharpie here and here and of course wouldn't you know it the holes don't line up so we're gonna pull this side off grind it down put it back in measure 35 and 1 8 mark it with a black sharpie after we sand this down then we're gonna pull this side out do the same thing grind it all down so we can weld on it put it back in We'll measure our 35 and 1 8 again, and then we'll mark it with a black sharpie, and then we'll take it up. We'll take it up, or actually, I made a sleeve right here. Bring the welder over here, and then I'll whoop, weld all the way around it. And then she's ready to go in the back of the, uh, whoop, go in the back of the, uh, what am I trying to say? Suzuki. Come on, guys. Help me out. All right, hopefully, uh, oh, I got some bolts put in there too. So I dropped the muffler down just so I can get my brackets and stuff in there, but, oh, so, let here in a little bit. Yeah, there's one. You can see the bolt I welded on there, so see, once you screw it, she's going to work. Uh, these are two half inch bolts and uh, we'll just snug them up we'll probably torque them at probably 55 foot pounds torque because at the end of the day this is still pretty thin ass metal but it'll work for our application all right got her clamped down on the table got her pretty much pretty much squared up on both sides 
We're on our black marks, Sharpie marks, both sides. So, let's weld her up. Probably just gonna tack it first and then go see if it fits. Alright, it's just tacked. Tack weld right now. That don't look too shabby for a bunch of scrap metal laying around. Pretty well centered. Slide right there and you kind of see how I did the brackets. And I'll put uh, a big washer, a lock washer, and then probably a nylon uh, nut also on here. That's why I got it so long. Yeah, those just zip right on now. So then I'll come over here and I'll finish welding all this up. And then the next thing we got to do is wire in a um, we'll wire up a four-way. So we'll tie in, I'll show you guys how to do that. We'll tie it in and run a four-way for the trailer. Finish welding that up. Oh, once the exhaust is back up, so you can see why I notched it for the exhaust. Oh, turned out pretty good. All right, get this back off and get her welded up. Got him. A little bit of a 
gap we gotta close off or weld up. Gotta fill her up. Good enough. We'll put it back on the car. Ooh, that glove's hot. We'll let it cool down. I may shoot it with some spray paint. That way it don't rust. Yeah, I'll go get some spray paint and we'll spray paint this so that it's cooling down. Ain't pretty, but she'll hold. We'll get some spray paint. Alright, threw a little bit of paint on her. Keep her from rusting. Plus it kind of makes it hide all the ugly welds. Awesome. We're ready to haul a milk truck home. Nah, just kidding. Just kidding, guys. Alright, got to thinking. I'm going to put one of these washers on here. So what I'm going to do is notch it. I'm going to take a zip wheel and zip it right here, here. Just enough for that washer to slide in. Then I'll push it, slide it over here and put this bolt back in. Slide another one in here and put that bolt back in. A little extra support. She's all done. Looks pretty good. Check it out. It pays to be a hoarder. I end up digging around in my scrap metal and I end up finding one of these old hitches that I didn't even know I had. <laughs> so, threw me a bolt in there. Three quarter also. And uh, we're going to go hook the trailer up, try it out. But you can kind of see what it looks like underneath there. Turned out pretty damn good. Let's see if she'll pull a trailer. Alright guys, we're going to hook up the trailer. i got to run up there and uh, go get the Zuki. Be right back. All right, let's give it a shot. So I don't have it, the uh, four-way wired up yet. Um, but let's go see if it works.
What's up, guys? I think it's going to work. So, all we got left to do is hook up some uh, four-way light switch on it. Wiring, whatever it's called. If you haven't seen the video of me getting this running, this has been sitting for eight years. And uh, it's a Will It Run Suzuki Forenza. It's been a good car so far. Thinking about doing a lift kit on it, get bigger tires put on it. That way we can get up and down that driveway a little easier. Uh, damn mosquitoes are still out, guys. Can you believe it? Eat me alive. So if you would, hit that like button. And uh, remember, keep it cheap and easy. Peace out. Signing off.